Welcome to the Dark Somnium. This story is from the Reddit user BlackEyes1 on the No Sleep subreddit titled You Should Always Show Love and Respect to the Hackers. Hackers are everywhere now these days, and you never know when someone is hacked into your phone or computer or any other personal account. It's strange in the age of technology and online digital innovation. With all the greatness this has given us, we have had one curse with it, and that is hackers. I have become more and more paranoid with everyday life, and feel like someone somewhere has or will hack into my phone or computer, or even unlock my social media sites, like Facebook. The scariest thought is that hackers do it on a daily basis reading and knowing my darkest secrets, or any private matters. I mean, I have heard that the government uses iPhones to spy on us all, and that just made my paranoia even worse. And then I thought about something. What if... if I have nothing to hide? Like, from now on, I won't do anything or talk about anything that might give these hackers something to use against me. And also... If I just talk to these hackers and treat them nicely, maybe they'll look out for me. Day one. Dear hackers, I just want to start off by saying that I have no problem with any of you spying into my house or hacking my phone or computer. I have nothing to hide and my life is an open book. Today, I went to work and I'm sure you hackers know that I work in an insurance company as I'm sure you have hacked into my company so many times. If you want to take some money out of my account, please take some. I have more than enough money. I'm also sure by hacking into society's CCTV cameras, you have seen me walking around on my own. I don't have many friends. I like to watch movies on my own and read a good book. But mind you, recently with the paranoia, I cannot concentrate to even read a book. New hackers make me feel so paranoid. If you're watching me right now, please protect me. Day two. Dear hackers, I want to ask you for your forgiveness and not to punish me by hacking into my bank account and maybe rinsing me out or making up false files against me. I'm sure you hackers can do that. I'm sure by you lot hacking into my workplace's CCTV cameras, you have seen me staring at a woman. I'm also sure you have seen me masturbate sometimes in the men's bathroom with no one else around. I should have told you a lot about this. Please don't punish me. I'm I'm not quite popular in life outside of work or inside of work. I'm sure by now you know that some of my coworkers bully me and pick on me. I don't want to ask you to hackers to destroy their lives. That's, that will make me look bad. But do you guys ever get bored going into people's private lives and knowing things that most people won't know? I wonder what you hackers know about some of the rich and famous members of our society. Day 3 Dear hackers, I want to show you more about me so I have decided to take off my clothes and show you a lot of what I look like naked. I don't have the best body and I don't exercise much. I hope you hackers appreciate and respect what I'm giving you. Also, because I have so much love and respect for you hackers out there, I have made it a custom to kiss the CCTV camera or any camera outside on the street if I can reach them. I'm trying to show you a lot of love and respect. I hope up to now you hackers haven't found anything against me. I hope no one of you hackers will try to mess with my life. Day 4 Tonight, hackers, please forgive me with the way I reacted with my mother when she came over to my flat. She's always nagging and expecting things of me, but I'm not interested in things like relationships or trying to step up in life. You hackers most probably have seen by now. I shouted at her. Can I sincerely say to every hacker that had heard me shout at her to please forgive me, as I feel I have reacted badly. You probably have something against me to use against me. I feel petrified and extremely unnerved. Please, hack my computer or my phone and tell me that you forgive me, please. I have been begging for like an hour for you hackers to do that, but you hackers do nothing. Are you hackers displeased with me? Are you going to try to destroy my life now? I'm so sorry. Day 5. 
Dear hackers, all of you hackers can go fuck yourselves. None of you are God. I am consistently paranoid of something being hacked, stolen, or replaced, and I don't care anymore. Do your worst. Destroy my life. I would rather be destroyed than be a slave to you lot. I have tried showing respect and trying to show a level of courtesy for what you hackers can do, but none of you do anything back to show me great appreciation. Go fuck yourselves and go kill yourselves, you creepy hackers. Spying on people's lives, maybe because you lot have no life. I bet you lot just... Just a bunch of weak losers who have become so strong behind a keyboard while well, I don't need a keyboard. I'm strong enough to live life in the real world. Day 6. I'm so sorry about last night. I, I became rebellious and for a moment I thought I was bigger than all of you hackers. I don't know what came over me. I know you hackers are always watching us, low, pathetic people. You can empty our bank accounts, change our online social media to something else, and read as well as spread each of our text messages and emails yet i became rebellious i thought i was bigger and could fight against you hackers who can hack into every fabric of society please forgive me it's it's just that i want to reply i i've i have unlike most people shown you hackers such respect for your skills i have decided to punish myself and i got a few homeless cats and dogs from the street I cut them open and I let them bleed on me. I hope I have given you hackers good enjoyment for watching me being covered in animal blood. I hope you forgive me for my stupid ways and on my flat wall I have written beware hackers to remind myself that, and others who have come into my flat, that you lot can control anything. I also would like to admit that I do get uneasy when I feel like there is a lot of eyes watching me. It gives me such pressure, it's only been a couple of days where I have decided to accept that hackers are powerful and are everywhere, and I have tried to behave, but I am struggling. You hackers might know by now that I have been fired from work, and you see in my bathroom my guy from work who I didn't like much started to irritate calling me names, and there are a few odd names about me going through in the workplace, and I tend to ignore them, but that day in the bathroom, something happened. I grew angry, and I warned him against the hackers. They are always listening, and he started to laugh. As he was laughing, I, I headbutted him right to the ground, and I repeatedly punched him. He was out cold. The security guards came onto the scene, and I was fired from my job. It's weird. I have given a good solid ten years of good work to my job. And they just fire me without hearing me out. You you hackers must know my pattern of work. I, It's usually in some call center or insurance company, and I could never find any other type of work. I don't care what I did to my colleague, but he laughed at you hackers. Maybe you guys could do something to him. I mean, he mocked and laughed at you hackers. Maybe you should try to teach him a lesson, mess about his Facebook or bank account. Maybe I shouldn't have brought your names into our conversation in the bathroom. Maybe it was my fault. I didn't like him, though. Always irritating me and putting me down. Oh well. Time to move on. Day 8. Ever since I've decided to be careful with what I say and do online and outside, as well as showing love and respect to you hackers, I've had a hard week. And I've decided, as you hackers will know, that I have gone online and on dating websites. Surprisingly, I have found a woman who is interested in me. And we have the same interests and conspiracy theories and talked about what high-skilled hackers can do. She was really interested in me and I can't believe it. We both want to meet each other and I might not be talking to you hackers for a few days. Day 20. It's all going so well. You hackers might know by now by controlling and seeing everything through the CCTV cameras and all over society that I had went on a couple dates with this woman. We enjoyed going to restaurants and and did what loved up couples do. And then she wanted to see my place. And I tried preparing her about how the hackers are everywhere and how they can see and know everything. And I tried explaining to her by complying with the hackers and not doing anything bad and showing respect to the hackers. They may be forgiving and, and maybe even offer some sort of protection. And she was smiling until she came into my flat and saw the dead animals and it wasn't smelling so good and she freaked out by the blood writing on the wall and she was an animal lover so she wasn't pleased to see the dead animals and she started to cry and she said that she was going to report me and I kept trying to explain to her about the hackers and she looked so confused so as, as these, these hackers were and I explained to her that even though I comply as they are always watching and listening then they might be nicer to me, 
my girlfriend didn't understand and she just started to criticize me and I warned her. I warned her about the hackers and she swore at the hackers and angered me. I pulled her hair and I beat her and then I grabbed her knife and I, she was unconscious and I bled her with the knife. And the hackers know what I did. I'm going to phone the police and explain to them as to what has happened. I'm sure they will understand. With the hackers and everything, they will understand. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you to the Reddit user BlackEyes1 for sharing this story with us. And I also hope you enjoyed the music I created for this story. If you would like to listen to this narration, you can go over to SoundCloud, or I will also link to the Reverb Nation account where you can listen to the music that I composed for these stories. And I will also link to the website which I have recently created. Be sure to like and subscribe so that I can spend more time creating videos and narrations for you. Have a good day.